Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going down here to Southern Mississippi, Diamond Head to be exact, not far from the Stennis Space Center. You're going to see what looks like a ship parked in the sky on Google Earth above Diamond Head, Mississippi. We're going to come back and take a closer look at that in a minute. I think you guys will find that interesting. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. But first here at the website, quick look at the Schumann Resonance. Most of the activity you see on here is from the recent solar flare outburst off of the upper northwestern limb of the sun from a brand new sunspot that's already transitioned out of sight. We can no longer see it anymore. It never was Earth Earth directed, but those solar flares were detected in the Earth's ionosphere and obviously in the Schumann almost immediately. And there was also what they're calling a rare magnetic crochet over here at spaceweather.com. The X flare of July 3rd did something rare. It disturbed all of my instruments, reports Bob Stames, who operates a space weather observatory in Lofoten, Norway. The X flare produced a radio burst, an ionospheric disturbance a surge of electrical currents in the ground, and a deflection of the observatory's local magnetic field. All of these are shown down here in the graph below. This is a first in many years, says Stames. The magnetic disturbance circled below is especially rare. This is definitely something to pay close attention to, and I highly recommend following somebody that follows the sun. Hopping over here to the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano, you can see once again earthquake activity scattered around the seismographs at the supervolcano caldera around the lake this time over here by the east entrance parker peak across the center of the caldera and then a little bit of activity once again up here in the northwestern quadrant the hebgen lake seismograph showing activity and that's not far from the historic 1959 7.3 magnitude earthquake coming over here to the lake mead water database lake mead supplies water to millions of people and and the Titanic Hoover Dam supplies electricity that holds the water in Lake Mead also to millions of people. Set yet another record on July 3rd of 2021. An all-time record low at 1,068 feet, 0.52 inches. That is a all-time record low for Lake Mead. Quick update on now Tropical Storm Elsa as it's been interacting with the islands of the Dominican Republic. Now it's headed towards Cuba and then it will cross over into the Gulf of Mexico for an extended stay. It might be in the Gulf of Mexico for a couple of days. There are models implying that this thing could track a little farther west. If it does, it may have time to re-strengthen, making a landfall somewhere in the Florida Panhandle, not necessarily up here in West Central Florida. So we'll have to wait and see. It has slowed down exponentially, now moving northwest at 14 miles per hour. This thing at one time was moving at 31 miles per hour. So it's slowed down by a factor of over 50% in less than 24 hours. But watch for this thing to drift out into the Gulf of Mexico. And again, if it does, it may strengthen to quite possibly a, a Category 1 storm. Nothing you guys haven't dealt with before in the past. Now I want to take you guys down to southern Mississippi to this location right here. We're going to go down to street mode right in this cul-de-sac. Check this out. I'm going to look up in the sky right on that shadow from a tree. I'm going to turn this way and you're going to see something up in the sky. Here it is right here. See that? Just above those trees. Keep in mind that Space Testing Center is right over here to the left, less than 10 miles away. This was in broad daylight. I took some still images of this location of the sky and I did some work to the still images and I'm going to show you guys what I found. What this looks like is the edge of a craft setting up in the sky. That's what it looks like. Whether it is or not, we have no way of knowing. I'm just going based off of what we see here. It does not look like a typical reflection like we see from time to time in some of these images. And I've seen them before in the past, but I've never seen one that looked quite like that. That's very, very unique. Unique. Here's some still images I took from that location on Google Earth. You can find the coordinates down in the description box. This was shared by DCD46. There's the object, whatever it may be. This looks like an edge. It looks like a fairly thick edge. I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 feet thick, maybe 80, 90, 100 feet long. This here looks like it's reflecting light. 
the bottom side of it, as you're going to see, appears to be radiating some sort of energy source. Have no idea, guys. It's very unique. Again, it looks like some sort of a craft. You can see what looks like a tail fin back here on the back. This looks like an edge, a very thick edge of something solid in the sky. It looks like a solid object. It doesn't look like a classic reflection. But as always, I'm going to leave that up to you guys to decide. I'm not 100% sure on this one. I've seen reflections from these images in the past but I've never seen one that looked quite like this. And there's also something down here that looks like a little triangle. So I don't know what we've got going on here. It's very interesting. Excellent find by DSD46. And here's another look at this object, whatever it is, on Google Earth up in the sky above Diamond Head, Mississippi. Very interesting find. Thanks for sharing. Now I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomenon photos sent in from all around the world. Mike out of Curacao, beautiful sunset, fiery orange sky from top to bottom. Awesome sunrise sent in by Alexander out of Ocean Grove, New Jersey. Another fiery orange sky, sun very low on the horizon. These next photos were sent in by Wesley out of Anderson, Alabama. These are crepuscular rays that would be opposite of the sun. This would be obviously the side of the sun and the beams spanned across the entire sky. Beautiful photo here of a double-decker rainbow behind a church, a tall church steeple. Really cool. Parker out of Guntersville, Alabama. Glowing storm clouds that look like a ball of light in the nighttime sky. Ricky out of Houston got some more beams in the sky. These aren't necessarily crepuscular, but these are big shadow beams up in the sky with what appears to be a cross in the center. See that right there? Let me back it up just a second. There it is from a distance, and when you zoom in close, you can really see it. There's a cross, or what appears to be a cross of light in the sky above Houston. Photo sent in by Ricky. Another photo by Ricky of a towering bright orange cloud above Houston, Texas. Photo here of some red mammatus cloud. Look like cherries in the sky from Pennsylvania. Photo sent in by Megan. These next photos were sent in by Monica out of Kansas City, Missouri of a spectacular golden sky during a recent round of thunderstorms that moved through the area, turning the sky a beautiful bright gold. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website, and sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.